What is good, you sexy son of a gun? That's Philly. It's Taz. It's the Taz and Philly Show, and we are back with another reaction video. Hey, everybody. It's Philly and Taz. We're back with another reaction video, another PayPal donation request, another awesome yes. suggestion, uh, I hope. I mean, we don't know that for sure yet, but <laughs> I thank you anyway uh, for at least, uh, you know, putting this in our direction and to, uh, you know, uh, for donate, donating to the channel, supporting the channel, all that stuff. We really appreciate you guys for that. Now, we were discussing a little bit prior to going on the camera. All right. So this is from the uh, O'Keefe Music Foundation, which we started hearing some songs from them, you know, a few uh, videos ago, you know, with Tool and, uh, you know, Black Label Society, a couple, a couple cool covers um this is cry little sister from the lost boys now he's, a, he's the only lost boys he knows is the vampire movie which i get it because that is a good movie i don't i don't think it's that i the, and i don't know maybe i'm wrong I, you know i said lost boys like the rap group from back in the day that had that famous song renee now i will say i would say i was crazy that it, it could even possibly be that but i saw that they did a song from old dirty bastard called shimmy shimmy ya so i know that they do some kind of hip-hop so it's 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 plausible that this is the rap group but maybe it's not maybe it's like fucking gospel but we're about to find out we'll see who's right who's wrong who's not if we like it if we don't taz feel free to uh speak to who was kind enough to donate to the channel and then we will get on into it yeah so thank you so much uh this paypal donation request goes out goes out to clint shepherd so clint uh, shepherd clint. yes clint what, you are what? the man you are the man with the master plan thank you so much for your continuous support and love of this channel <laughs> good job clint <laughs> uh, so you requested this song um we represent music appreciation i say that on every video in case you're new to the channel so please make sure that you support these artists as you can tell here we already subscribed to O'Keefe's music foundation but let's like this song because this is the first time we're going to be hearing it. Just imagine if it was you, wouldn't you like to be supported by your fans? So let's do that um, and really show them how much we appreciate music. Um, but please support us second. Please um, subscribe and um, hit those notifications so you can always know when we're posting things on our channel, which is frequently um, and weekly. So um in any event, we haven't heard this yet. Let's find out if it's one of the Lost Boys that so-and-so was referring to, and we'll commentate more afterwards. So here we go. Oh, yeah, this is a rap song. Well, it's not. House will rock blind boys don't Oh, it is from the movie. It is. Yeah, see, see it's hard. That voice so clear through broken walls. That scream I hear. I know the last voice movie. Beats like a drum 
That at this point might be my favorite so far of O'Keefe's Music Foundation because we've already seen them jam out and rock out and do such a stellar job. They did such a stellar job when their rock songs that we reacted to, but this is the first time that I've seen it where it was a nice, tender song. It was so like, uh, I don't know if I want to say like angelic, but it, it made me think of like up in the clouds or whatever. I mean. Well, I mean, in Lost Boys, they flew up in the clouds. So um, it just made me think of that, like like ethereal, like like really soft and soothing, like cry little sister. Like I just picture them saying that. Um, well, they did say it. But just everything was just so low key and serene. But it was like a cry for help. It was that yearning for siblings and stuff like that. Um, seeing the all the little kids dressed in white and everything. Um, was this a quarter recorded around COVID? Like, I don't, I don't know these days. I have to ask, were they wearing the mask because it was COVID or were they wearing the mask because it was something symbolic? I'm trying to think because I haven't seen the movie in so long. Maybe it was because of COVID, but um, I was just curious. Movie? Huh? What's the movie have to do with that? I don't know. I just, I just, I don't know when these movies, these videos are made. So I don't know if these videos are made when it was during COVID season all oh. the time. Or it whatever. probably was. Yeah, it probably was. I mean, was I don't no, like to. Uh, I don't like to assume. So just let us it, know in the comments. There was no symbolization with that in regards to the movie because there was no masks or anything like that in the movie. So I would assume that they. Yeah, were but they the had on clothes. like didn't they? Didn't the kids have on like painting outfits? Like they, they were, were like gowns, like you know, people were wearing like those plastic. I, I I don't know. Whatever. I bet you that's probably COVID time. Yeah, let us know because I'm I'm thought they were like painting gowns, and when you're painting, sometimes you wear masks. So I don't know if that was something. <laughs> Just let us okay. know. I'm just curious. I'm a very Fair curious enough. person, and I like to know the deets. But I go. just I loved her voice. She has a beautiful voice. I love how the the choir, kids choir, backed her up. And I just loved everything about it. It was a more tender approach. I love it when you can see layers of a group. You know, we know that they can rock out. It's my first time seeing them not rocking out. You know, they're all beautiful. different. I mean, they're all different people. Well, the girl, I think, is familiar because they told us in the comments the second O'Keefe song we did, 
that was actually the same girl but older. But yeah, like the drummer oh, gotcha. is different and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. Yeah. So um I think it's the same girl. I didn't memorize her face yet, but kind of. So anyway, let us know if I'm completely wrong. Go ahead, Philly. What do you want to say? <laughs> well, <clears throat> for one, it was a pleasant surprise that that's the song that it was. You know, that's an iconic movie to me. I, I mean, accept your movie. apology, by the way, since you told me it was not based on the movie. Well, no, what I was that's not exactly what I said. I didn't like I don't and I might be wrong about this potentially. I didn't think the song was called Lost Boys. That if if I if it was a song from Law like if it was a song from a soundtrack or whatever, I would have I would have figured it probably was not necessarily the song, but maybe from the movie. Um but Regardless, fine. You were you were correct. Congratulations. Well, I mean, how they how they worded it? Just saying is it says "Cry, Little Sister" from the Lost Boys. So, oh, I mean, from the Lost Boys. Yeah. So either I way, mean, it that, sound like it's from a group or from a movie. We don't really. Yeah. Know yeah that, no. Now more that you say that, I, it actually makes more sense. But okay, fair enough. And I, you know, this is like an iconic movie to me. It was like a movie I watched a a shit ton growing up. I mean, that movie came out in like I don't know exactly what year. We'll call it like like eighty seven, probably eighty eight, somewhere in that neighborhood. You know, it was um, you know Corey Feldman and Corey Haim and um, Kiefer, uh, Sutherland. Kiefer Sutherland, right? It was just an iconic, like a good scary movie, a great vampire movie, probably a, an all time vampire movie. And that song is an iconic fucking song from that movie. It's just something that you know, anytime I ever heard it, the movie is what I think about. I think back to the scene when it happened. Um, you know, she obviously sung it differently or they changed it a little a little bit but I, I mean i think that they freshened it up i think it, it made it sound kind of new again and and fresh and it kept the same texture and like vibe with the you know now shall no that that was very this much the same so it didn't kill as far as like you knew exactly what song it was as soon as it went into like i don't know five ten seconds of that beginning i'm like oh that is from the movie like you can you could hear they changed it but they kept it the same her voice is beautiful i thought she did a great job with it um so yeah i uh i'm 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 thrilled with it i thought that that's a that's a that's a cool song to begin with and they kind of you know like you know sometimes there are probably a lot of people a lot of younger guys people younger people that have never heard that song before at all maybe never seen the movie before i know there's people that i know in my life like my nephew's age who's like in his early 30s and i'd be like you know the lost boys and he has no idea what i'm talking about so like somebody like them who's never heard that song and then they hear that song that she just did and it would bring like a whole new audience to it i think that song could like revive again kind of is my point it was i just thought yeah it was really good so uh great, great suggestion point. great suggestion thank you so much for the donation and uh unless taz wants to flap his lips a little bit more we can get into a vote now let's vote best friend all right, we're about to vote. This is ass or pass. Why is the song going to be ass? Well, who the hell knows? But it is ass, so it sucks. And we're going to give it a thumbs down if it sucks. But if it doesn't suck, we'll give it a thumbs up because we don't think it's ass. So then, therefore, we'll pass it. So that's how ass or pass works. Taz will count to three. I will drum roll. We will rate together. And then, Taz, we will get the hell on out of here. Taz, are you ready? I'm ready. Three, two, one. Boom. Boom for all the kids. Yes. All the O'Keefe's. <laughs> yes. And thank you. Thank you so much for the uh, the generous donation. Uh, we genuinely, genuinely appreciate it. Thank you so much for bringing cool new music to Taz and I. And please, please keep them coming. We can't, we can't wait to do some more. So until next time, I'm Philly. That's Taz. It's the Taz and Philly Show. Have a wonderful night. Peace. And take it easy and keep it breezy. <laughs>